Canister. I cannot believe four of my favorite players are on the first five players not going to Worlds. That's insane. Where's the list? I think I'm lower than that. But it was a pretty tight race I lost out in the end. Then there has been some confusion fuck up stage. I guess expected you are tenth, alright. Where do you have the list? I guess we can maybe find for, look at it and reminisce. <clears throat> Uh, magic.gg worlds worlds points what is it Hinata Yan Crown the guy won again well again I don't know if he won anything previously but he seems to win a lot and top eight a lot America Standings. World Championship qualifying points are used to determine at large limitations for World Magic Cup. Total. Yeah, I'm at 81 points, so I'm 3 points behind those who qualified on a tiebreaker. I have not played this blue red deck yet, no, this is still gonna be the first time I'm playing it. Logan Nettlesis, 3 Duke, Hotayasak, 103. Did Shota get eliminated from the top 8? Did he go 7th, 7th, 30, 20, 10, 24. Same as Polo. Play the shit standard deck here, shit historic deck here, and decent decks here. Master and Austin could have made it if shot another guy's top at the top six, yeah yeah. How does it narrow? Very narrow race. 81 points in the end. So yeah, I was say much away from well being I would have a shitty tiebreaker, but it's very free. But I also much away from being within the tiebreaker realm of qualifying for Waltz, and I was within um, within one match of uh, requalifying for the Pro Tour. I lost the last match. I played against Dom Harvey. It was 3 a.m. We play game one. I win easily. We play game two. He wins easily. Uh, I was playing green white humans, I was playing phoenix. Then game 3, I look at my hand, it's kind of shit, I mulligan to, to 6, no lands, mulligan to 5. Play ledger shredder and don't have much spells to trigger it and die. So overall, good times. Are there any more opportunities to qualify? There is no more opportunities to qualify. The rival slash MPL is over with this event. There's no more of that. Um, no more of uh, tournaments that origin from rival slash 
MPL things. So it is it is over bros. I made no worlds, I made no Pro Tour invite. I can qualify for the Pro Tour in Sofia. I tried to look for the invitation policy in Sofia and I didn't find it yet. That would be cool if the IRL Pro Circuit didn't have $80 Grand Prix. I mean, the Grand Prix is gonna cost as much. There is also... And everything costs more money right now, right? Inflations, recessions. What is the word for that? So this is kind of kind of a crazy price, but yeah. So in Sofia, you will be able to qualify for the for the thing. Yeah, I understand it pays out shit and etc. It just flies lives generally kind of shit and tough. I know what I can tell you. <laughs> it is, it is. We'll see how this goes. Like, well, the real problem is those RQs, but you have to qualify for the RQs. So you need to play in the in those. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be going to those because I kind of would like to play in paper tournaments, but I don't really need to if I'm already qualified for Sofia. And if playing this tournament is equivalent with being ripped off so much, I'm kind of... on the fence. Which PT are you choosing? What do you mean? I'm qualified for Sofia thanks to being rivals and then there's not much to choose. Are there not store RCQs? They're supposed to be I wonder if Wizards ever make clear and relatively easy to understand Pro System. I mean, I think this is fairly reasonable to understand. Relatively to, to things. But, you know, it, the, the easier it is to understand, the simpler it is in general, the more geographical and like background economical situation of players from different parts of of the world or just their geographical location comes into play and then that would mean that non-americans get bullied even harder So there is always that factor that is hard to balance. What is a grand open qualifier? It's an open qualifier which qualifies for to players to Legacy European Championship the finals. So Sofia. How do we get that Sofia RQ will get the top 32 in Grand Open Qualifier or top 8 a classic qualifier or top 16 and last chance qualifier? I 
But how do I qualify for the Pro Tour from the from the Sofia tournament? <laughs> 320 euros, yeah, Pierdol. Post quarter, 1000 euros, yeah. Get good, yeah, well, but I'm, try I'm trying to, but. Europe is already somewhat screwed over by the fact that tournaments are organized by Legacy, and yeah, we'll see, we'll see, but. Some, some are not fans of the Legacy. But I don't know, like I'm probably in favor of simplicity over trying to account for the naturally occurring disadvantages and trying to compensate for them because then it makes it so that, you know, then it makes it so that you have people who played in free tournaments and they got 81 points and then you go challengers who yes that's two good scores but you know somebody I don't know how many people qualify actually eight challengers qualify Jim Davis qualifies 49 nine points yeah does he qualify Want to qualify for the regional championship? Yeah, but I want to qualify for the Pro Tour. Why is it called Legacy European Tour? Legacy is the name of the company that runs the event series and so like the constructed format that shares the same name. Legacy, the company was founded in 2000. The famous constructed format would see inception years later. <laughs> Never back down. It's called Legacy. I'm not gonna change the name. Players will be able to qualify for the product the following ways. Be one of the top finishers in the previous Legion Championship. Yeah, but I'm, I, yeah, I wonder if the information as to how top of a finisher you need to be is known. Maybe it's not. Finish with more or 10 wins. 10 or more wins at the previous Pro Tour. Okay. Mox Showcase members and Magic Hall of Flamers. Okay. Top 32 regional qualifier. Thank you very much. What's the source of that info? Because I couldn't have found it, but thank you very much. I guess I trust you. Can I kill you be down to do some gachi skits tomorrow? I don't know what that means. But probably. <laughs> Happy birthday, cancer. It was yesterday, but thank you. Coming soon. Hi, this <laughs> This is restricted. <laughs> Shit. Now, if you use NordVPN, you could get access to this restricted content, no travel, right? Shout out, no, actually not my sponsor. Just meme. Alright, let's play some games. This prowess deck seems kind of broken to me. He has to play the po new powerful card Ledger Shredder, which fuels the new powerful, the old powerful card Treasure Cruise into actually usable state. Which in Phoenix you kind of have to play like piece of the puzzle, etc., to turn on the cruise, and it's not as great. And the Narsa deck it's a little bit clunky. And also gets to play the well one year old at this point powerful card Expressive Iteration, so. I know you have great threads that grow to humongous sizes, uh, but you also have monastery Swiss spear. 
in the deck. So you can pl seems like this deck can play both aggro and if needed control rolls really well and can play very late and thing in the ice in the sideboard. Maybe they gonna be better in the main deck. Some people had in the main deck. Them in the main deck when I played against them in the Pioneer Challenge yesterday, they just beat some decks too. Well, this seems kind of insane. And you get to play Reckless Rage with 4 mana instant. Uh, 1 mana deal 4 damage instant, which solves opposing thing in the eyes, shredders, uh, Winot us seems pretty great. So as it is tradition, blue red let's say Xerox is the best deck in all formats. So I think it's... Looking at this, I'm kind of not sure what this deck should be weak against. Only 18 lands? Yeah, I need deck. This is a low amount though too. I think you could play 19 easily. First announcement, qualifications very simple. RCQ qualifies for RC, which qualifies for PT. Second announcement, we also have regional open. That was not all part of the single announcement. I think expressive iteration is a Magic the Gathering card, for sure, yeah. I'm surprised by opt over consider. I would be surprised too if it was over. Over it. But... It's playing both. Don't want the eighth one drop creature. I don't have a strong desire to play the eighth one drop creature. Maybe eighth one drop creature would be better than Nexia Sprite Dragon. I should see two mana cards. Okay, convince me. Storming Entity is an option too, I guess. It's kind of fine. No, Storming has nice timing incentives. You play Shredder and you... Next time you play spell and then storming and you get to connive. But it's a free drop. You don't need free drops in this deck. I'm gonna ask this every time, but remember Lavadar and Storming being the best cards ever? Yeah, those used to be the times. And Oriok Champion. I don't have removal, I just have creatures, but I'll keep. On the draw, kind of awkward, but we'll see. Lol, <laughs> top lands, they don't have Giganta. Kind of want a version of Magic where cash play in the last five years just don't exist. But then you would want to play a version of Magic where cash play in the last ten years don't exist, and then it would follow to fifteen and the lower too. So I 
Yeah, there's no great reason for this deck to play 20, 19 lands, 18 lands. Especially if it's playing Mon lands, which are probably pretty powerful, and the Shatter. It's 10 of the Bugbear, is that my... is that a Mirror March? Blue Red considered X Flood a lot. Well, Ledger Shredder iteration and Treasure Cruise, I don't know if we flood a lot. We have following options Swift Spear, Consider, Play Ledger Shredder. Legislator might not have an easy time dying. It's gonna connive at least once if it's a mirror, because when they play dead, it's probably not Phoenix. But then it's probably mirror with some double colored cards, no Giganta. I don't know what two double colored cards they can play, so Legislator shh. Why not Swift, Swift, and next and Dragon Opt if you finally land? Shredder is weak against Strangle, and that's kinda it, and it finds me the lands. But this makes it so that we hit a land number 3, almost assuredly. Yeah, it's weak against Lightning Axe if they play that. Did you steal the idea to play Blue Red Prize and Pioneer from Mango? Is he playing the fucking same deck again as me? Pioneer Blue Red Prowess? No. I swear I don't plan doing that, it just happens naturally. I'll play two Swift Spears, that's kinda lame if I miss on land drop. Play the Shredder, it should be, like if it's the mirror it's just gonna be hard for them to answer and the earliest it can start growing it's the best. And if they don't get to kill it, if it's fight toughness then it's un unkillable and it's just gonna die. What the hell. Chat. Well, it's up to some. Well, it's up to doing some weird shit. Um. Kind of a weak land, but it's a land. Can we used to play Sweet Spear and next turn? Why Ben Cruise instead of Sprite? I think it's more likely that I will want to cast a Sprite than I will want to cast a second Cruise. And I'll also. You know, draw off of cruise, and I will probably draw a lot, etc. No longer mod Sarge. Yeah, I did some purges of removing the mod. Privilege from folks who were no longer very, very active. So you were fallen a victim of that. Nice. I had crack feet, yeah, Pierre Dollar. 
What the hell? I mean, you can just kill the Chandra, right? Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. Not that easy, I guess, but... Okay, you can just kill the Chandra. That was not as impressive. <laughs> you can go Swiss Spirit Sprite Dragon Opt. What the hell is this deck? Mm, I want to keep a second cruise, I guess. Now maybe I do. Cast one for four mana next turn. Chandra, flame caller. Alright, skip iteration is a good card. Eighty lens strikes again, true, true. Yeah, eighteen lens is quite responsible. But good thing we have Fading Hope. Imagine thinking that being a mod is privileged. Be careful, or um, I will mod you. I'm gonna say it, 18 lands is almost too many. If you go below 18 lands, you're just not gonna have... You're gonna have a bad mana base. I'm also not sure about three red colored lands. So we're playing against some wonky shit. I don't know. Seems like this Daneful Stroke Ether Gas, if they play the six mana Chandra and they ramp into stuff with. Yeah, they ramp into stuff with. Probably Spare Pierce too, just uh, counter magics. They ramp into stuff with rituals. But I don't know what they're ramping into, because it would make sense to ramp into the big Chandra. I think those for sure and Ethergast, the same for Stroke to be considered. I haven't seen Reckless Rage targets. So we probably want to remove those. Triangle can hit Planeswalkers. Probably want to cut a 2-drop when he Disdainful Stroke. Our red lands become much worse now. I think the one Fading Hope is pretty good. I would not cut it. Bunch might be useful for my opponent's effects, but I don't truly really know what they are. What they are. But I think I would like to have one in just in case. We can probably cut a Sprite Dragon because it's a two drop. We bought in two mana counter magic. It's gonna be harder to play it. All of the gifts is for Barons, yes. Sense seems keepable, it has two opts after all. It's 
It's kind of weird because bringing reactive stuff against them is going to be good, but it will make our plan a bit worse. Well, I'm, if I'm cutting dead cards, it's not going to make my plan worse. What would it make my deck worse if I bring, you know, if I cut remove our spells that has no targets? You can make the big Chandra. It's the thing on top of your cards. It's a zero zero magic background card, which shouldn't be there, but it's there. Well, they can, I guess they can play Chandra Flame Caller, but they have the ritual. Like, if I had lightning bolts in my deck, I could keep lightning bolts over other gas. I could see that, but... Golos? Cascading car attacks, okay. Well, we can bounce Golos. Since I want to hit the land, I probably want to... Play with fire face first. Or maybe I just want to cast iteration. Where I see three cards and I see one, two, three. I see four, ca four cards if I don't cast an iteration. Well, I could play fire the Golos. Two spells. I guess we can maybe attack. Then play fire can target the Golos too. That's what it's cast, but actually lets me attack. Okay, let's attack. Threshing is greedy. I don't know if it's greedy. Well, it's like one less card seen. We luck sucked into a land. I can discard an iteration. I'm gonna have a hard time casting it next turn. I'll just get the iteration, I think it's fine. Definitely not, I don't want to discard my interaction cards because I can just interact. Can save it with Fading Hope. Scry for a land. Maybe the iteration was actually good to keep. Let's save it. I think the second thread is kind of relevant for pressuring. Is Swiss Spear the best throw I can have? I don't think so. If it's not the best, then that means it's the worst, so we put it back. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, that makes actually a lot of sense. I feel I need to play the Shredder. Can hold that because we drew an untapped land. Grow, bottom, I 
And now opponent has an opportunity to summon a big card. Which could be kicked missing mortars or could be an expensive iteration, that's pretty big. They discarded a mountain, so they only discarded one card, so their hand was good enough to not discard two. Iteration is going to grow my Ledger Shredder. It's quite nice. Just join Recon, this deck is the one to be on right now. Well, it seems very powerful to me. I think Ragdos Artifacts in Pioneer should run Fable. I don't have a strong opinion. I think Fable is a very strong card in general. It's possible that it should. Nice attack. Nice draw. Let me just draw. Not quite an ancestral recall, cost two mana. Can save and then hold up this painful stroke with dry land or gas. Seems fine to save. It's a lot of damage from this Swiss spear. I'm going to have a new hand of full of spells. I got my Swiss spear, okay, I get to connive. Can connive away the Sprite Dragon or a disdainful stroke slash other gas. Then going to put the monastery Swiss spear on the bottom. Connive again. I think we don't need Sprite Dragon. You want a land for sure, the Ethergast Bug. But if I hold up those two interactions with this, I don't think I can lose. It's 4 6 already. We found a land, lucky. Oh no, that's a big card. Let's cast the reflection. Yeah, Shoulder definitely impresses with how fast it grows. I was gonna be slower at this, but it's not.
Cancer when I match. Easy, simple. Because of any bound, sad. I skipped it and then you skipped it too. I just skip it. I skipped Golosovania so that it would play the next song and then you skipped uh, again and you skipped two songs instead. Do I think standard is healthy or do I think some cars can be looked at? I don't know. But you are approaching Bantok. This is kind of a handy keep. Let's try keeping it. <laughs> Wait a second, Jupiter. Seems like this is a storm carved coast format now. Watch some of the SNC championship and most of the decks look like weird disconnected piles instead of the focus standard decks we had like one to two years ago. What do you mean? Is Pioneer actually fun? I think so. What well, there is the B word? Well, it's not about using the word, like, I'm not here trying to pause your speech speech so that you don't use a certain word i'm trying you to i'm banning a concept from being discussed in the chat lots of different fulfilling different factions not recently challenges being good cards on their own what decks give you that impression exactly Because I know that the dragon stack is pretty focused, I would say. Grex is midrange, John midrange, Naya midrange, Asper midrange, less so. So, like standard, I think what how I failed, how we failed at having a good record in standard was kind of not. You know, forgetting that standard is always about lining up your removal spells well against the expected field. And we had a dragon stack we tested that was running strangles as the removal and no hopes, no fading hopes, no voltaic surges, and then it didn't have good removal actually. to do stuff. Which... Oh, that's what standard is about. I don't... I, I don't know if the Grixis Vampire's midrange deck would... I would say it's disconnected. It had a pretty clear goals in mind if you think about it hard. It's playing the cards that match up well against the removal that's popular. So it's playing Evelyn, it's playing uh, 
Evelyn because it dodges, she dodges Vanishing Vest, is playing cards that match up well against the removals that are being played, not really presenting many Vanishing Vest targets in the deck in general, etc. No way removal is good in standard. Well, it is good in standard. Grixis deck, however, is 100 times worse against the Dragons. It didn't seem like it materialized in the tournament. The Esper deck is not really great against the Dragon deck that plays good removal that actually works against the two drops, which people in the tournament did, but we didn't have that in testing. Just cringe. Grixis Tempo against the Dragons, they played 6 matches, 1, 2, 4. I like Esper Midrange, played 12 against the Dragon and won less. I, don't, I wouldn't say that the Grixis is infinitely worse against the Dragon. You get to play Duress Counter Magic, like that's fine. can iterate and hope to find a prowess creature, but we get more looks if we opt twice. And we also can get a 2-drop. Also fading hope. Can also keep fading hope. Kind of not getting anywhere though, but we can. Keep it and in case okay, so you're gonna pass. On the iteration, I'm not looking for that anymore. That's probably a good card, yeah. I mean, I played it too. I played Negate in my deck. I should have not played Negate. It was super bad. Should have just played spell pierces. The last standard I played had we not an automatum, so I'm just used to a partly synergistic format. Yeah, most standards look like this rather than that. I think. I cast draw spells, said the pioneer man. Treasure cruise next turn. Yes, I have a treasure cruise available. Probably said I already have a full hand, but just my cards don't do anything. How do you manage to make them flip the thing? Yeah, ladder is different than tournament. It's playing. I I have done play ladder. Just playing ladder is kind of useless for. Thinking about the tournament, I think it's. I mean, not useless. It's a little bit. A little bit bad though. The thing is, Phoenix does not seem like not where you want to be with this deck though, yeah. But well, I doesn't have creatures, so it's my option to defend. Scarlet Arclight Phoenix, strong.
I think they really flies a lot. Should be playing 17 lands. Don't like the one drops. They do perform better on turn one, I would say, than they do right now. That is free damage. This thing is more powerful than Historic or Pioneer. It's hard to say. We kill one Phoenix to save lives. What's my plan to win? I probably can't win on the next turn. So I'll probably saving the life is relevant. They discard a thing in the eyes, they very well might have another one. Well, there is looting, but also in history, everyone has the graveyard hate cards in the main deck, which I guess maybe tells you that it's better. Five, six. Hmm. Yeah, probably dead next turn. Then, like, would assume that by now they have found the time walks, but. What they reveal from their thing, from their use of the puzzle, opt and lightning axe. Is this free off? It's not, it's four off uh, magic. Better than I've played Ledger for a blocker because Phoenix will come back. Now I want to cast the Cruise and deal damage. Yeah, the Pioneer, the Pioneer Phoenix is a little bit of a passive deck. I say as they return three Phoenixes and kill me, but... And take five extra turns, but you go, you'll get the gist. But it's like passive in the early game. <clears throat> and you almost literally can't make, you know, powerful turns. Like triple Phoenix on turn 3 is not really possible. So we definitely want unlicensed hairs, and I think that's kind of what we want. That's it. Reckless Rage for Thing, Play of Fire for Face, Fiery Impulse and Strangle look poor. We might want Spell Pierce. Might want to cut Fading Hopper. Might want to trim Dragons for. In Historic Phoenix, I always play Archimedes Charms in the sideboard, and I... And I also play Control, a like Blue-Red Control, Iteration, Postboard, and win against Control players who bring fucking 
Benchlayer and Jails. Despite seeing that I have, you know, two fries in my cyber, and they're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be great. Benchlayer and Jail. So insane. And I, should, and I say, sure, bro, yeah, yeah, bring it. Why Hairs over something like Lantern in the Prowess? I think Hairs is better. Especially at managing the elf cards is actually good, where Planter is pretty terrible at that. And Harris is pretty impossible to play against. You just play it and then you're know, like, well, I guess graveyard usage is over for me. Seems like blue red cards in all formats are so good now, right now. So much better than black, green, white cards, absent cards. Always have been. I don't know. I would say that historically blue red is the best color combination in the f game, but. I think it's more dominant now than it used to be in standard blue red also the best i guess um see sure i know yeah exactly that's the thing oh shit no removal ha no removal they say you can iterate for a land that seems bad Just missed the tram because I was looking at a person with a cute dog and I didn't notice the tram. Congrats. I think I want more mana. I have an iteration. We're just going to find a cruise. We want to be able to just play my cards. Two damage, by the way. More damage, I like that, that the thing in the ice is so damaged that despite being already in the graveyard, it's still damaged. I'd be tempted to play Hearst there, we'll see else they have four spells. Yeah, I guess they're pretty low, but like I don't need to. Like I can also Hearst next turn for the most part. I kind of want to keep iteration, play Harris. The incentives with Harris against Treasure Cruise are pretty rough because I just want to use it. So I can't cruise nicely. Well, I don't play many because I play Time Walks. Kinda not sure what um, game I'm even playing, right? Right, like. All right, if they cruise me for three mana, then it's fine. I think if they return a phoenix, it's worse. Sure. A cheeky, cheeky, pam pam. It's not delirium to be concerned about. This song is very catchy. Cham cham, a piki piki pam pam. Giganta time. Is Disco Polo about Japanese? Mm, sure.
Can hit a lot of Phoenix with this. You put enough cards in the graveyard that this is not great at controlling the Delph cards, though. Point of casting so many considers per turn. Cheeky cheeky bum bum, ah cheeky cheeky bum bum. Historic felt like a mishmash of random cards, the Phoenix deck. They're built a little bit like that, they're less mishmash you with Shredder, but... It is true, you just play 8 opts and the lootings and you just iterations and you eventually find draw your cards for the matchup and you have some cards for the matchups and that's it. I mean just as a format. As a format, sure. You did not play a land, right? So it can flip the thing and that's gonna destroy me. Is it time to play Jeskai Feather and Pioneer? Sure. I mean, if you want to. Where did the XL go? Oh, it's under the hair, so I was like, what? What the hell? Where are the XL cards? You have flipping, no you don't. Oof. What's my opinion about the blue red grinding bridge deck in modern? I saw the place shredder now too. I don't have a strong opinion. I kinda don't like it though. I think it's worse than Ragavan with counter spell. Good crew has here now. Well, I could have, but why would that be preferable if it doesn't kill my opponent? I don't want Fading Hope maybe to be able to bounce Fink once it flips, I don't know, maybe that's not needed. That gave us leaf out this turn. I think I'd prefer to keep hers to interrupt my opponent's graveyard at comeback strategies. Because they have a hard time comebacking otherwise, and if I tap it, then they can do stuff willy nilly and they can also kill my some creature to make the lethal not lethal. Like I in general I can see blue red deck. I think it's unwise to assume they would not have anything. I wonder if I should have thing on my own, probably not. You could play the world championship. What's the world championship? You mean the New Capena championship this weekend? I definitely would play different decks. You'd play one of the decks with high win rate instead of the decks with the shit win rate. I probably would keep my Historic deck, maybe. 
No, I probably should switch to a high win rate one too, but I don't didn't hate my historic deck. I think my Phoenix was like a decent Phoenix deck and compared to the others. I think I want to further consider to have manas. I think the sellers don't get DC, then get a buy at X1. Yeah. I remember when Kaneki was breaking PT formats, feels inverter man. Yeah, I. I am just poor at playing standard. Because standard is all about thinking hard about how your removals line up, how your early plays line up in the early game, and like it didn't. I don't know. I I had a I had a eureka moment afterwards when I thought, damn, I understand it now. I should we like the dragon's decks were winning because they had better removal than the ones we had in testing, so. It's the only reason. This doesn't seem broken. And I think I would now bet know better how to approach preparing for a standard tournament again in an, in a like medium known meta game. Said Demir Food Splash White really good in modern. I want to build in paper. It's not really good, it's somewhat okay. It's a tier 2 deck for sure though. Black White Knight's a good deck, it was an Esper Knight's deck. It's not that good, actually. <laughs> In fact, it was pretty bad. Um, can pressure them significantly. Discard events. If we don't hit a land, we gonna I'm gonna cry. I say discard events. Good. I don't even want a nice and hairs anymore. I guess free hairs is kind of weird because the graveyard amass and it's like not that fast at clearing it. On that point, I could take Solskar. and pressure them next turn iteration again into much much less damage. Was. Yeah, I've sure to discard extra hairs though, and you want it pretty early, yeah. But I'm thinking that maybe, you know, two hairs, one lantern would actually be better. I remember once discarding my only other land to magmatic visions inside, just ripping two lands. Okay. Full story. Red Cup melee, yeah. Lightning Axe, okay, they got a Phoenix Sad. I mean, my, the, but that can only discard that land, so it was... What else did you want to do, right? Oh, thank God. I was afraid I'm going to miss on, on a land. I 
You only have one card in hand. Probably would I keep two rages in hand? I think. No attack. Just they can do like cast chain draw spells to return the phoenix and sad. Ledger just blocking phoenix punish them. Ledger just block oh fuck. Ledger just blocking phoenix with one counter makes things sound pretty bad in the meta. I don't think Ledger that's like that bad of a lineup. Fuck me. Wait, 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 wait. I have a companion. Lol. <laughs> Almost forgot. Stupid Giganta. Actually crucial here. <laughs> Damn. Let's drop the king at least. I mean, the Phoenix, like, frequently comes... Frequently you get many Phoenixes at the same time, and they just... can get returned next turn anyway, so it's not really bad if you have to attack two or three phoenix into a shredder. I want to save life, I think. Sure. The watch Paul Borlorbius small vampire, I don't know what that is. I have two iterations. Let's have the Manland. Manland, not a bad draw. They need a Lightning Axe for the Phoenix Giganta. I did not watch that. In fact, I don't think it's a real movie, so I think you're pulling my leg. Why is it always Manland and never Womanland? Because of the male centric thinking in language, I don't know. I did encounter the sentiment that they should be called creature lands and not man lands because women want to play the game too, but out of habit I keep calling them man lands as that's what I learned to do. But uh Malicious intent or much intent at all. I just want to, you know, activate my creature land. My den of the bugbear. Requested react any last time and good miss. All right. I'll believe you. Two blocks down. What the hell, bro? Fake gachi fun. Was it blocks? I, I hope it was blocks. Can I still have a very importable question? Okay. The amphibian variety, okay. 
Can I pass a card here? Okay. I hate VTubers so much, it's insane. Okay. Well of the last DRM. Did he say eat my sack? Twin dreams and mana cost. The frog, the this seems like a frog maybe. Eat my sack, bros. How many creatures do I have? Eight one drops. I know. Worked out keeping just keeping hands. I'm gonna keep again. And we have fifteen creatures, right? Eight eight one drops, shredder free dragons. That is probably not very good about creatures. I mean it's like you have cruise iteration. They so played a long game quite well. Flame Blast Ball, not better than play with fire because of Phoenix. I think even against Phoenix, we would want to go face. Hey, is that a blue red opponent? Can't wait to play against some blue red opponents. How am I dealing? Well, I'm dealing fine. What are you learning lesson after that game with Solskjaer landing on turn 6? Yeah, but I won the match, so it was fine. And, like, if I play against somebody who plays creatures like this, then... Free toughness creatures. The ward vampire has free toughness, but we can't kill it with this because it's gonna exit my spells. No, actually we can. Spend play of fire a grayscale on this. Land. No land. It's fun that Euro would make blue red decks kind of unplayable. Or it would make them Timur. Oh, they are all good against cheap, cheap damage. Fingers spent two mana on the dragon again. How does red black mid range two versus your deck? Well, we're about to see. I haven't played the matchup yet, so. I think they will probably. F well, they can kill all my creatures. But they will flood in the late game, while I will not, so then I will win. Drain if you excel creature, okay. In modern, the blue red decks played surgical extraction against Ura, and that was kind of excellent. Awkward, but I don't want another red land.
I remember good blue red in Uro times. Well, blue red prowess was a deck, and when they sideboarded surgical extraction, you actually kind of didn't have a great plan against that. It was not that not everyone sideboarded extraction, though, and many didn't. Somewhat more traditional graveyard aids, but. I think the extraction is Uro lined up super well. You know, as bad as extraction is in general. I think it's right first. Because we then see if we hit untapped land or not. Imagine Uru in four color. That would actually make the deck good. What do I think of the Calibrated Blast deck? It's pretty unplayable, but I lost to it yesterday in the challenge of living it. Have I tried 4-color with Traverse the Ulvenwald? You mean modern 4-color Yorion? I have not tried that now. I think it sounds somewhat interesting, but also not a big fan of it. Oh, it's day night. The day night is flipping constantly. I forgot about that even being a thing. I hate this for. I hate day night. The first time I played a paper tournament with it, I began to hate the f its ability. It's the worst shit they printed. Have to opt for something good. <clears throat> this is kind of good. Day and night. Ooh. Does it sound like this? Ech, co tak? Need to deal damage to my opponent to win. Oh, my pot sees no. I like to think the Manland. Excuse me, the end of the back bear. Over it, playing this, activating. Now they play a spell, we get to connive. Nice. Nice. How conniving. It's 
ostro, optrino, it's a good start. Kurva mać, no. May not have anything in the deck. We have Fable flipping. Can attack with Dan. 18 lands way too many, yeah, seems like. Or you can grab Giganta. I think Giganta might be more relevant. Caritas. Do you remember when every standard deck had Kalitas? Yeah. I do. How the weekend went. Fine weekend. Oh yes. Thank you for the connivage. I will take keep the opt. Coklitas. Funny. All right, Chad, we're gaming. A good series of cards. Now to draw some shocks. What the hell were my shocks? Where are the shocks at? What the hell, bro? Removal less. A zombie is not even good. I actually wanted a Kalitas killing removal, but can use Giganta to cast consider. Ooh, this card cracks uh, powerful. Seize the fort. Did I enjoy the part of Marvis where he says it's Morbin time? I never, I didn't watch the movie. I don't get the meme. I get, I understand the meme. I don't get it. Took my ledger shadow, that's odd. So if we discard opts, do they force some extremely bad attacks for me? They attack with they copy Bone Crusher, attack with all. 
Giganta on Kalitas. This on a 2 2. This on a 1 1, take 8. Can this card consider? Seems like. They could use a Thassos Oracle. Funny. Could use the trample giving country crash through. We found removal, so we're probably going to be able to spunk. We start through here, huh? thank you for the raid. Kill the reflection. Copy the bonk crusher. So now we can Kill this, bounce this. They have one, two, three blockers and they block they have six sixes. So they block two six sixes, <clears throat> three six sixes, and you deal eight, nine, ten. This card has what is so killing a reflection won't trigger it. Kaltas is a creature and opponent controls dies. And the reflection is So it is worded this way, yeah. <laughs> if we attack, can never make a reasonable block here, right? If we leave two mana up. Yeah, but I was scared of dying myself to the reflection. And copying a thing, Monland active, excuse me, creature and activation and death. But I will admit I have not counted fully. All right, we drew our deck and we won somehow. This is my opponent who drew 23 cards from their deck and didn't win. So, what do we want? I don't really have grindy options in the sideboard. Just have the hearses. I think the hearse might be pretty valid against my opponent's deck. They are a Croxa deck. If you wouldn't win after that, that would be an issue. I agree. But we did, so it's not an issue. I mean, we, we needed to cast Triple Ancestral, but they let us cast Triple Ancestral, so it's what the, what's the big deal, right? It's got two shocks. 
this can deal with the vampire lady. Pity should line up well. She lines, lines up really badly against Fatal Push, which I think is present at four copies in their deck. No Sokensa. Probably Sokensa better than the Mountain, yeah. But I guess you can try a thing. Scary Soul Scar. It's good. It's, I mean, it's good if they don't push it, but I assume they play for push. Also, blood she stares, I think, even sometimes. But if they don't, then it's gonna based, kind of based. Ether gas. Ether gas sounds like the worst card I could ever sideboard in the matchup. Let's see black red midrange deck. So yeah, I guess it makes sense to have Lesky just to die to stomp and more than die to push because every creature is going to die to push. Let's keep Otawara as my last card in the deck. If it comes to that, we can draw it and bounce the blocker and kill. One of nothing is probably worse against them. At least it fuels Cruz, so... I wouldn't be so sure. Let's keep the consider. We have a turn to monster to play. We might even want to save it for the consider. Maybe it's stupid. I don't know. But we also save two life. Given that I have reckless rage and shatter, I probably don't want to actually even spend the shatter. Alright, probably was stupid. If you play if you draw one drop, you're gonna play it. I should have Okay, and super punished. I guess I would have ditched cruise. Because I don't want to play the shredder before I get the trigger, especially with my with Reckless Rages relying on the shredder. Should wait till turn three, so definitely should have considered to look for an alternative turn to play. Thinking the ice would be good, Harris would be good to play. Rebom. Sfiru is fiantan, Sfiru jak pojebana, pójdziemy do wuce. Hmm. Eh, yeah, Shadrina, I guess. And it's skill one, they can trade the other one for it with two blood tokens. To discard the land. Discard the land. We're going to flood anyways. Oh, they suck a blood token, so they can kill the shredder. That is insane. Ultramentem with sympathetic, with cavitch, lol. Play your characters, bro. Oh yeah, play it. Sorry, the Mirfless. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you need to loot away thing to kill the Sorin. So we lead an opt, five cards, rage, surveil, the knife, seven cards, cruise.
I think I want to play the cruise because before I get fought seas. Okay, I can't play with fire the sorry to save this for the Kalitas. Because I kinda want to save the reckless rage for the Kalitas. This deck is kind of an aggro deck, but also I just always play control. I want a 2-4 now. I want to counter a lot, so we won't do that. Tanch. Alright, let's play the Solskar. Order lul. Alright, pitch the land. Well, Kulak like ever make an appearance on the stream? He already did, but he's a dog and dogs walk on the ground. Cats walk on all surfaces, so cats frequently walk at the height that is necessary to be shown on stream. And Kulak, like I would need to like pick him up. He doesn't like that. Alright, before assigning blockers, we play with fire this so to play around ninjutsu. Go blank, that's kinda OP. Can keep Treasure Cruise anyways and just. Uh, let's keep the recruits. I don't have a creature to kill that, and there seems like there was no Kaltas. Probably going to be able to cast a cruise on the next turn. The hairs doesn't seem great in the match. I probably would have rather had more creatures to have my rages turned on. Yeah, this kind of sucks. If they want to attack me with then I would rather block because my life tower is getting low then deal two damage. OP
This guy is somewhat overpowered. I don't know how anyone is ever supposed to beat it. Probably not by this guy putting lands that you don't need to play. I can't believe it's a considered playable card. Well, what do you think about if four free? Or 6 4 life gain hexproof. It's kind of a gaze of sun draft, I guess. Well, I have brought all the things in the ice, but I sh will keep that sprite dragons. And some scars. Well, it's not conceded yet. We can... Not really win against... There's no creatures that we can kind of win. Deactivate then, we block... Jump here, block, block... The three power creatures with the thing. At one point in historic Phoenix, many members of the team wanted to play Fable of the Mirror Breaker in Phoenix, which I disregarded as it seemed absurdly unfit for the deck. Now in historic, but I wonder if like Fable of the Middle Breaker is a card to cyborg in those decks. But I don't know, the Fable sounded really poor to me and I didn't want to play it. I got destroyed by Goblanks. It's one to two copies that bad. I, I think it's not great not being a threat in the, the stack. Played some of Fable and Crackling Drake was this. Yeah. yeah, I can believe that. That's not the literally the worst combination. <laughs> I definitely should have played Fable in standard because that's just the best card in standard and against the Esper deck when a person played Fable the Mirror Breaker, it just the Esper deck just doesn't have Anything that answers it well, you can spell pierce it, that's about it. But if you don't spell pierce it, then in the narrow window, then turn three is just best thing ever. Awkward hand. I'm unconvinced that double den is actually good for this deck. 
It's an 80 land deck, like how much do you need the mana lands? Boah. Much cockna. Much is it delicate? But I was wearing the deck, a second on the over the second then definitely gonna be better, yeah. Just straight up. Not nice actually. I think 80 lands is a little bit weird jump, but also do flood given the you know low quality of spells in this deck. Oh bro. Yeah, the clumps were put on my opponent, definitely. My opponent is being clumped right now. Very right. Very, very, very much clumped. This card is kind of... I don't like this card. It's... Like, if you happen to draw two copies of the same card, it's inescapable, and... That kind of sucks. I think it's a bit of a stinky design. I think it was printed to answer, it has vampires on the artwork, but sneakily it was printed to answer hydrate crashes well, but... Why did this card Kalitas? They probably missed the land. Awkward, but I think I would rather iterate first. Maybe it is designed as hate cards for growth, Chamber Guardian. I guess maybe that too, yeah. I think they would block if I would attack with this. Well, thing in the ice is re revealed probably. Also, it's Steamkin Swagger of Walker, sure, but those cards don't have a, you know, special. Natural proclivity. Towards also like if I should play the land. So go blank. To being. And play in multiples. So I think silence good against this tag. It's probably kind of weird jump. So legions and as an answer to random two drop that was played back then is not really like a special thing. Mine rod plus Tormod script equals to good. Yeah, my, yeah. Go blank is a three for one. It's a mind rod that always draws you a card, and that card is a Tormod script. 
that you use immediately. I kept thing in the eyes, which seemed like my worst creature, but... If we go blank is good in modern, it probably not. Yeah, I probably should have played out the water because of then I could have had good in that in attack. Don't know how to attack the second unless I just go blank. Seems like removal plus go blank is effective. Like, I'm kinda scared. Although maybe my opponent will die to the dragon because they killed my other creatures with the removal. Blinding is too good because it's three cards. Minor and Lava Spike, yeah. I mean, just facts. Alright, we just need to chain... I don't think we've seen Fatal Push. They might just not play Fatal Push, TBH. Let's chain some cantrips. Okay, let's not chain any cantrips. I mean, technically not dead. We have the compile, but we have to activate Manland to survive. Well, do we? I think we should. To not die to that easily. Graveyard Glutum. Glutton. I just give this guy. This is like the one position I kind of can't. They discard a bone crusher giant. That's kind of odd. I guess they needed a creature to really force me to double block. Meet us. They did discard Bone Crusher Giant, but they... The Bone Crusher Giant would, didn't work for them, right? Ooh, nice. Just I was at 5 life and there was no creatures in the graveyard otherwise, so what are we supposed to do with the Bone Crusher Giant? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It seems like they can't go and answer the sprite dragon, which is super odd that they killed thing in the ice. And not the sprite dragon, they just made a mistake. White up the bugbear, I can activate it anyway, so I don't have enough mana. Well, 
Lol. We could hit freelance. You're right, yeah. No, no, if we hit freelance, we can activate then and then we attack for 4 plus 1 with the token, you're right. Very good call. Alright, we won the match, Lamo. We're gonna take the bathroom break, I'll be back in a few minutes.
How has Pioneer been? Blue red. Just like modern. Historic. Legacy. Popper. And standard. But Pioneer is not a Yorba format anymore, I don't, it doesn't seem to me like... Vintage 2, yeah, yeah, Vintage 2. Yeah, Vintage is like kinda blue. The red is not really relevant. Iteration not as good here, I think. Hmm. I guess it's still pretty good. My heuristic for a format's quality is a how similar is it to Legacy? If Blue Red is the best deck, then the format is shit. Yeah. Fort Scour, what do you mean? Four foot scour, damn. Free Ragavan, four foot scour. Isn't Blue Red best in like all formats now? That's what I just said, yeah. <clears throat> Doomsday is super popular in Vintage. What's kind of good versus Doomsday? I guess that's fair. What about Tom Scour against Vintage? I guess them. Free Cruise. More. Hey, do, will I open a hand with creatures? Yes, I will. Thank you. I think Focal Blink is a better deck in modern. Blue Red close second, like 2% weaker. No. No way. Blink is like. I don't know. Well. Once I dropped, once I stopped playing Elementals, now it seems like Elementals is the best thing ever. And, you know, people keep playing challenges, doing well, winning with it, etc. So it makes me wonder, maybe I just played a deck badly. Or something, but... I'm not playing Yiren anymore. Even if it's a great choice for... An average gamer, it's not a great choice for me, it's a losing choice for me. If you did not play Esperat SNC, it would have crashed the championship, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's okay to have a play style, it is okay, yeah. I think living in is much more fitting for my play style than. Elementals. Elementals also good versus all the living and nerds. I disagree. It's not actually good. Like you have the tools, but you're not. You're below fifty percent to line them up correctly. It's been my experience from both times, both sides. Yeah, Elementals win versus Blue Red, but it wins versus Blue Red by... What the fuck? What's this block?
Nice block, bro. Should counter this. <laughs> I guess you don't need to. I guess, yeah, yeah, you don't need to counter this. It's fine. Like, well, Elementals wins versus Blue Red 52% of the time, and Blue Red wins versus the field 55% of the time. Well, Elementals is below 50 versus the field. Data from? I'm... It's my estimation based on experience. So it's not trustworthy data, but it's how I view things. You think my... Yeah, it's more, more meant to be a qualitative opinion than a quantitative one. So if you value that, then... Spirit seems pretty pretty rough into Ledger Shredder, a big flying, decent flying blocker and then just surrounded by cheap spells. No, I don't like the blue red Murtide deck. I think it's too dependent on Murtide itself and very bad against simple graveyard hate. It's pretty clear to me that it's not very bad against simple graveyard hate. Maybe slightly bad against graveyard hate. Now improved with Ledger Shredder. What about complex graveyard hate? Yeah, that's complex is not that good. Free attack with the Swiss spear. Well, my opponent can't block with this anyways. So I just have an attack with the Swiss spear. I don't think Blue Red Merc is that good against the whole meta. They are not fair versus a lot of more popular decks. So which ones that are they not popular against? Whenever I build a deck, it's Place against Morktide and I can never win. So it's definitely good against uh, shit decks, shit Bruce. But yeah, against uh, like more popular decks. Everyone has a good Murktide matchup when they pass 4, turn 4 with an 8-8 unblockable and 4 counter spell mana up, yeah. 8-8, unkillable, unblockable. You're like, damn bro, that's actually kind of tough. This is Dax or Geese. The title was... Feel Good Ink, but every lyric is replaced with A. Uh, Yogg, Reanimator, Burn, Hammer, Titan are all negative win rate for blue-red. Where is this data from? 
Titan negative win rate for Blue Red. Reanimator. What the hell? Yogmoth. I think Blue Red is also a deck that scales very well with player skill. Unlike some other decks. I like four color specifically. Scales with player skill to a much greater extent. I mean, I'm also making up my data, but that doesn't f seem to fit with what I'm thinking. Well, like Yogmoth in the matchup, literally one thing that has going for it is the fact that it matches up well versus Ragavan. With Young Wolf, that's kind of it. With Blue Red, I only fear Folklore. Honestly, Folklore is kind of unbeatable unless I am lucky and Folklore isn't. Yeah, exactly. This is a 4-5 creature. They just double block to a 2-1 and a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, also Shredders just like make the deck better. This is going to be true every time that this deck is just going to be getting better and better. I mean, every deck gets better. Every deck gets better, but yeah. Last time I played against Yogmov, that's true. I just kept Shredders, and Shredder was pretty, pretty insane against the Wall of Omens, Endurances, Plan, etc. So playing against Spirits, my one thing in the eyes. Will living and ever get better? Yeah, I guess, well, that's... Maybe it will. Been looking at all my local opens, 1 case, 2 case, and other tournaments. The best decks in my area have been Titan, Foco, Blink, and Burn. But did you compile the data somehow, or does it... Was it that you, like, felt like that was the case? Spep is just company in the deck and it's 30 creatures. How does this deck feel in your opinion? Very strong. Could have things over have Sprite Dragon. I don't think he has a company deck. There was Cyber many non creatures. I don't know what they could even do. Now it might sound crazy, but I think I'm going to swap Ragan for Shredders in the future. Well, I think you should swap, just cut Dragons in the side in the postboard games. In that case, I think that is pretty insane. Let's cut the fading hope. Even when I said I guess, said to play Shredder and S3 Animator and Kansas, I said it's too bad for Modern. Yeah, but then I played it anyway, so it was pretty bad in the deck somehow. Or maybe the deck was bad, but Shredder is pretty base. Obviously.
I mean, it's discard outlet, so if you think discard outlet into your animator deck sounds pretty, pretty wise. That does play kind of worse with that. Because you need to double spell, etc. And it does. Double spelling was an issue when your spells are kind of awkward. <clears throat> Not sure what's the best timing to cast this. That one might point to sacrifice the monster. And I don't know what timing it really incentivizes them to do so, so I think I would prefer to sacrifice it to cast it now before they see their card at the end of turn. Would Fotscar be too good for Pioneer? Yeah. I'm curious to see people's stance on Shredder in two months. I think it's very well it's very hyped right now that's always hyped cards from the new set remember the hyped cards from kamigawa i don't because i forgot about them already sega's based yes But then I hear the word temple that's making it and that ends up having. Okay, well, we all know what is what we're talking about, though, so it's fine. Read from desire. Sold my ops for 80. I hope I did not buy ops on Modo. Re op Nexilis. And end up being a lava spike. Play second thing in the ice and can cast four spells next turn, hopefully. This might sound crazy, but I'm thinking about playing four shred my Lotus Field combo deck. That sounds pretty bad. Lotus Field is not great at double spelling. You know, when a new card becomes powerful, then also you can just hear people talking about uh, how it's like, haha, best card ever. Should play it in every deck, Lamao. Stupid if don't. Always incredibly overrated, lol. Well, it's not anymore, I don't think so. The beginning, it seemed. It was definitely. It seemed much more powerful to me than it ended up playing. What's better, Obnixels or Tibalt? Well, if we're talking about Valky Tibalt, then Tibalt. Yeah, Obnix is a, is a Lava Spike. If your deck wants Lava Spike and also wants to sacrifice creatures, then it could be pretty good, but that's honestly, those decks don't exist, though, so... YOLO.
It's kind of not great actually because I replay it, but I don't know, you can attack for 14. I'm surprised I didn't see Shaya think twice yet. Are you really surprised by this? Coming on Neon Dynasty top ten modern cards. <laughs> this card was played a little bit. What the hell? Why is that an old friend? We talk about it for hours. Oh no, they skipped a... Top 10 is too hard, Kate, I should just do top 5, yeah. I mean, a video about my favorite cars from Neon Dynas, from New Capena did not mention Shredder once. I did spend a few minutes talking about Obnixilus. Yeah, not even mentioning here still. Hers. Sunner has zero, is he high? What are you talking about? It's fine. Modern. This card is good because reads the text of the card. Yeah, yeah, my favorite type of content. Thank you, Rudy Yacek. Oh, this is a fine card, but like not really a game changer. This I was high on too, and I, I. Ended up being a pretty big miss, but kind of surprising to me that how how medium it ended up. Number one, channel lens. Lions are still sees legacy play. What play? Can't interact with them, bro. I just. Let it happen, it's fine. Alright, Channel Lens, Lion Sash, Discover, Fasten Says, Spinning Palm Ninja. Some interesting cards for sure.
Sash sucks because it's cringe against living and What were the top standard guards? Those were the modern ones. Kodama the West 3. Nashi. Invoke the Ancients. Kaito Shizuki. Mukotai Soul Reaper. Mind Link Mech. Thundering Raiju. Well, testing for the tournament, I built a Mon Red deck and I had Thundering Raiju as a topper of my care if the deck was not even that bad. So, like, you know, like some of those cards are pretty good, but not like the end, the decks don't end up being there, so. Then they're not played, so it's easy to dismiss. Although many of those cards are kind of like, I don't know, this. This kind of weird jump. Reconner Bankbuster and Channel Lens. Kiki Jiki and Chan, not that good TBH. Well, I missed it too. Kind of had no idea how good it is. Chandler is probably not that good in standard. Well, they played in all the decks. And yeah, Emperor not on the list. Everyone's like lame, it doesn't go infinite. Yeah, like people like focus on what the card... Uh, this reminds me of... When we reminisced about MH2, stun MH2 spoilers. And how Fury was rated low poorly at first by most and bumming in the chat said that we're focusing often on things that the cards can't do instead of the things that the cards can do so yeah fury is not an instant cannot go face Two things that would make it insane. So you're like, damn, that kind of sucks, right? But then, if you actually think about what it can do and how it can kill, you know, two, three, even four creatures sometimes for zero mana, that's a pretty good trade. Suddenly. Is Ledger Shadow better than Tarmogoyf? Probably. Rots. Quartz. Where all the incarnations end up being good for modern or some sides. All of them are very playable and played. So this is the least, but it's also the best. When it's, when it's six. When it shows up. But the reason subtlety is strong is because it counters endurance, so it's kinda catch. Come on, block. If I have a shock, you should block, right? But subtlety even in, in Merktide is very strong, I think, as a sideboard card. Dodges all graveyard hates and it's a great read optionality. Two for one. No song requests. Alright, soon. 
Oh, seems like my tablet of the girls is going to be useful. Ah. Uh, they got me. I should take Swiss here because I'm placing it pathway on red. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't want this stuff. I move all. What if I leave Idol on play? What? Sure. They want to cast play with fire this turn so you can answer to it with reckless rage. Kill the soul scar. They have one card in hand. Play around removal. Or not, they're just going face. Get Caracas to make free to fix Ragavan. Yeah. Assuredly. Nice. Do you even need Table of the Guilds? Probably one thing in the ice for its high toughness. Edergast. Answers literally everything, so might be okay, but it's kind of expensive. I bought in more two drops than I had anyways. So not sure about that. Spellpeer seems good. Yeah, Spellpeer is probably fine, yeah. Not sure, not 100% sure. Yeah, let's have spell piece though. Spell piece seems... Mm, okay, they might board in Chandra's. What could Neobrand play to beat Caracas activation holders in the sideboard? You just do things in response. Draw your deck in response. You know, I'm just going to not play, play the spell piece and just going to cut an opt.
I think, yeah, against character saturation holders, you probably should just be able to draw in response and draw your deck and then because they're blunt bounced and then you are fine. I don't think having needle or something like that is any good. Which two weather the storms would be pretty good then in your deck. I guess. So don't cyber load weather the storm against that deck. I guess decks with that. I think the upside on Solskar is not big enough so that I want to sequence my creatures weirdly. Would I kill the creature of the counter than the one without? Three, four, five, six. Seems like a top. Definitely gonna block the top decking. They then don't play the Bone Crusher otherwise anyway, so that's good. Did you know this song is made by only by human sounds? Yes, I did know that. Wow, combo. Also, Kumano doesn't exile the creatures because of Solskar, that's pretty funny.
is five life, kind of scary, but maybe we can draw a tablet of the guild soon. They can activate Ramun up, so that's okay. <laughs> treasure cruise, treasure cruise, based guard. Then still 35. Damn. Definitely two dance is too many for this deck. One dance seems fine. Sweet spot. La tire. Actually, I don't want to remove counters from the thing. You should just activate that. This is five. Probably should just activate then. Now can't. Well, they may be holding, I don't know, a burn spell. No, that doesn't make sense for them to hold a burn spell. To half held a burn spell. Consider a thing on this tag. Yeah, I don't want to remove counters from thing. So I'd rather not bounce my shredder because I need to win. Which is why I did that with thing on the stack. Thing in the ISOP, right? Three hours. Three, four, five, six. All right. Seems like it's not a quarter five vote. Deck indeed seems based. Even though I don't know about 18 lands, I definitely would play Sokens on over a second then. Maybe should play Chivalry for this mountain or under Stormcarf's coast. That seemed pretty good. Maybe should play two things over the dragons, but the dragons were not bad. The dragons were not bad, the dragons kinda carried in some games the game against blue red gamer we won with the flying dragon and has the ability to go quite big what do i think about that accord arcanist uh sprite dragon is damage and arcanist is more card draw i think i prefer to have damage than more card draw That use one damage per turn. Why strangle of an instant shock? I don't know. This is a new card. A one strangle, one fire impulse. Skin it plain sockers, Narset. Is this list better than Phoenix for you? I don't know, maybe. Oh yeah, Sango kills Shredder, that's true. That's that's the thing. Kind of still be like, hmm, modern is dominated by blue red with card likes express iteration. I don't like this meme format anymore, it's ruined. Place blue red in Pioneer. Yeah. Would you want any upgrades in a cyborg? Or you just ignore opposing heresies? 
We can ignore them if you don't have Phoenix. We played one match against Phoenix's league, and the Hares was definitely not quick enough at taking them off the Delve cards, but also they play pieces of the puzzle, etc. Did we talk about GMM's Hinata deck at all? We did not, no. It's been the best performing deck. Seems pretty decent. Played the broken cards. Fable of the Mirror Break and be best card in standard. Why no Fry on sideboard? You could play Fry, but tell me what is the reason to play Fry. When I netdeck this list, it had 4 red cup melee in the sideboard, but there's already 4 reckless rage, so that seemed kinda redundant to me. And Narset seems like you can attack it. A Pyroclasm can be useful in cyber against Winota? Quite possibly, yeah. But Thing in the Ice seems like the greatest thing to have against Winota or stuff like that. Think in the ice is only for Winota. Well, Winota mono green. I bought it against mono red, red black even. I don't know what pioneer, but in Explorer, I'm running into a lot of the fairy hero and the iron fry is a nice answer. Yeah, I don't fear those cards in modern right now and pioneer right now. I think, but. If you were concerned about them, it's fine. About Pyroclasm versus Winota. Crush the weak. Yeah, you could play that, it's fine. Does Crush the weak exile? For voice? Yeah, Exiles, damn. Chad, were you, before Calden, were you actually aware that Norse culture slash mythology allegedly is big on Recognition and foretelling events before they put that on the cards. Because I had no idea, I never was aware of that connection. Yes, I watched Vinland Saga 7 Expert. Um, I didn't say I didn't know. What do you mean? There are only two routes when you're a male nerd a Viking or a Weep. Well, I think, I don't know how many weebs are there. We made a poll one time, it was like 70-30 in favor of non weebs so I guess it would be 70% Vikings. This Magma Spray in Pioneer, it is, but it's also power, out power crept by Flame Blast Bolt, which is Magma Spray, but also it's Plane Soakers. We're gonna play a league with this now. Because I, I was thinking about this deck a lot, chat, and I never reached any conclusions.
the affinity deck. She played some Urza decks for a while, and they were kind of fine, but they kind of sucked too. And I think this might be just a better version. No combo, lots of podcasts. Seven artifact lands. Least the card I'm the least sure about is Ingenious Smith being a playable modern card. I think the rebukes I'm playing reluctantly. There's kind of suck, but. Just this counter spell, having a counter spell is pretty desirable kind of an effect, even though I hate the card. So I recurrently put them to here. The non-Urza version is better in your opinion. I think for Dax is a lot, yeah. But I want to confirm my suspicions. Because that is the way the... Charlie plays it on Magic Online. And then he says that the deck is super strong or something. And whenever I pair against Charlie on Moda, somebody in the chat says, Look, it's Pro Tour Champion Charlie. I don't know why that's, why that's such a meme, but it is. He plays the Fool for... More other tight bridges, but I... I felt the strong desire to have some flat strands and basics in my deck, so to be able to beat Moon. Is it really not worth playing Stoneforge in the combo? The combo sucks. It's it just you never assemble it. I quite like this sack, yeah, me too. You have to drop with the amulet free offs, unfortunately. Combo sacks and non control approaches to Urza. I think the combo sacks dot com period. Susurus had a nice version of Urza in the last five or drop. We have a link. Seems like they didn't. Susurus, double R, okay. Yeah, that's some kind of a shitty prison deck. Like, those decks are not good. What's the S portal is based on? Yeah, non tron, prison tron. Well, on this deck we actually have portable holes, we have Ragavan removal, so this deck might actually be playable. 
Buka kurwa nie drap no Bo cię Zaraz wezmę Przypurę pierogi, Sajandra pierogi, ulad mi bieg pierogi Ulad mi tu pierogis Dwa pierogi by to były My hand actually kind of sucks if Protable Holes is not great, and even if it is great, my hand kind of sucks too, so maybe I should not have kept. Dragon forcing decks to play removal reminds me of the days of twin. But re re remember, it forces you to play one mana removal. Specifically. Even if it's terrible against other things. And I think it's kind of toxic. The way it is done. Odds they play car next turn. Fucking hell, like the f how, like, I understand how people believe in. Believe in how the match pairing is rigged because how can you not believe in that when the f moment you play a, a, a an artifact land deck, you or you, an opponent with card the great creator materializes. In the queue, like chance on zero, like sure. So, how can you not believe it's scripted? Yeah, how can you not believe it's... So they have the shittest throw, but they have the car, on, and then I guess you also keep a shit hand and you get punished, but... That's on me, but... Like, you know, the fact that I have seven artifact lands in my deck right now... Monitor is coming, I will not be able to cast it now. Yes, and at the same time, Karn is not a played card, it's... You can defend the Karn of Labyrinth. They get some shit hand too. Raveler is poor. Relic is poor. Spell Pierce is based. Dumping Sphere is based. I wanted to cut it. Look, my hand was shit. Well, they probably didn't mean to reveal the hand, but they just revealed it because the button is in the same place. Can cut Shadow Spear maybe? Because the portal will hold against the mobs, it kinda does something. Well, I was losing to everything, yeah. I was not winning this game, I understand that. How did Prowess go? I 5 votes. Very solid deck.
Nice hand. Is it scripted against you or for the opponent? Well, it's scripted against me, yeah. It detects the decks with which I would have a bad matchup against and it knows that I haven't bought any cards in the past few days and then... Do people play Pioneer in paper? Yeah, I play Pioneer with names on Mondays. Kurwa się pies zesał. Jeszcze kod, kod raczej no, pies się nie zesał, tak. Maybe I should play the monitor for free mana. But we can hit... No, 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 no. let's play this. We can hit... Razor Tide Bridge. Fun fact, that's why there is so many MTGO bikes. They just put vast majority of their time into the bad match detection engine. True, true. What match of action It's true. That's that it's true, it's true. Based. Lol. Point of a nice opening. I think I should play Saga. Oh, shucks, they fled with their map. Chad, how good would Engineer Smith be if it didn't have the triggers only once per turn clause? If it, if it would just trigger with every artifact, would it be the best card ever? I don't think it would be legal, lol. I think it would be really powerful.
would actually be looking towards playing it in my decks rather than cringing at the fact. Kappa can already made a legacy deck happen, but that's because it's... I don't know. Powerful. I'm not ready to reset. One claim too little. What the hell, still one mana? I overpaid. You also do 15 damage, that's a very convenient amount. Alright, how much is my spell pierce? It's for mana. actually defeated the Karn Enjoyer, which fills me with joy and feeling of justice materializing. The artifact lines are pretty good at giving you affinity for focus. It's indeed pretty pretty nice actually. This is Butcher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, meow, 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 meow. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's much ostry norgi. Pure. They're also good at letting you lose XR to content creators. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. You're going to lose to them. But the resolve, just don't pair against them, Mr. Wise. Why don't they just unban the OG artifact lens? I don't know. they pretty bad. Actually. You could play Boom Bust in this deck. Because you already played the bridge and Dark Sea Saddle. Co ty robisz? Wow. Podcast does not get hurt by idle one, which is very nice. Nice take two. I guess play Urza. Then monitor podcast. Rather big constant, it's gonna be 7 7. So, I guess, like, do I even want to tap it? I think I do. What do you think? So, I have the one for Urza to block. Just spend extra mana, which, like, we have many, but not infinites. Yeah, I'll just play my cards. I think it's. A good route here. I have 16 life. Like I just, this block is not the most important block ever. So we could call it called podcast to have better blocks, but I think we can just throw very good point in the chat 10 free orders is too fast artifacts are unfair Urza decks got too much this year
what is the current relationship of Karn and Urza and the Lord Chat? Anyone knows? Does Karn hate Urza? Does he have no strong feelings? Well, Urza is long dead, but I assume Karn can have some feelings towards that. Yeah, I know Urza made Karn, but that still does not answer my question. So we don't know. Karn's spark is originally Urza's. Karn died when Urza died. He became a planeswalker because of the various items and legacy weapon. Damn. Well, the spark from Venser was given to purify Karn after he was... Should I block? See, probably is fine. Just because of the oil. Some oil. Okay, they have the perfect. And you can attack them, Utawara the creature, and attack them again. I think I would have been better off if I had not cast the last podcast. Maybe it wasn't correct to cast it. And they're gonna be locked from the game. Okay, take nine. Okay, I guess I should have played pre-combat if I wanted to. They don't have a five damage dealing card, so they can't win now. Yeah, put sport of all pre-combat, put them in two was better because then they can't literally can't cast anything or they can cast one spell. I guess if lightning helix that could be awkward. Not really. I don't think I can lose to lightning helix. Yeah, I can think of a combination that loses to Lightning Felix, but if they had an untapped white source, like a white pathway, thank you, I caught for five for your supportage. I'll feed the cards before my burn point concedes. Blaze Helix. Well, what? You go Mountain. You go Blaze. No, you go Helix Face. Two bolts is lethal. Well, they have idle on. So helix, go to two, go to five, and bolt. But that doesn't kill me because I have the other one, and it's not a spell. 
I guess two bots is lethal, yeah, but not for me. So their posture is like damn. Okay. I don't know what that means. Hmm. The least I copied, I it had. Two core firewalkers in the sideboard and I cut them. We're listening to Jacques Chirac music, official de sa campagne de 1981. Maybe meddling, na meddling mage or naming lightning bolt is a good idea, right? <laughs> Maybe let's take the let's play the rebuke too. I don't need forecasting as better than I probably. Mil nef son yeah yeah. Mil nef son d I believe. Jacques Chirac. Have you thought about Howling Mine? You can tap it before enemy turn with Urza Moonstone prototype. Damn, yeah, maybe that's a deck. Oh, 
Howling Mind for Municipal type Ursa. Any other cards that work like this? So 900 Celebes, well it's just 9, it's just these nerfs on. No, middle nerf on. Yeah, yeah, because not 90, it's 1900. Spike was playing this deck. Alright, in that case, there's no need to play it. Let's play the Sentinel, I need to draw my land number 2. Wasn't good, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I can believe it was not. Kind of when this nerf, this was on the La Jolie Papon. Did I ever play any sport? At physical education in school when we were forced to, I played sports ball. But I was typically in mm, a Bramcerce movie. The goalkeeper, but I was mostly goal letting rather than goalkeeping. Yes, goal letter mostly than goalkeeper. Do you think Esper Sentinel's knife hands are convenient for eating, sleeping, scratching? What else can you do with hands? Holding stuff? Seem kinda not so, not so good. Well, for trimming bushes, probably pretty good, yeah. I guess there was a movie about that, Edward something hands, right? Literally the same movie touching the same subjects. Whoopty doopty doopty scoop.
Sung is like has lyrics, but they're actually a collection of random phrases that don't actually really connect into a cohesive greater meaning. Most modern songs are like this, question mark. Yeah, I mean, I guess the pop songs are like this in general, but it just had this thought. It's occurred to me that it is like that. No, they really question mark? Yeah, maybe they aren't. If you convince me of your strong argument. Can play history just for that? No. If there were history challenges, then maybe, but there are not. The food deck is kind of nice, in a way. It's also a little bit excruciating. Armek was an admin at the championship, and in the Canister Discord, he said that there was a match where players timed out somebody timed out in the game one of the food mirror because meat hook massacre is symmetric well not symmetrical but can, each player can only have one so just puts infinite triggers on the stack that don't do anything kind of a pain I they like blue red prowess seems like a very strong deck by five out and seems like a structurally very strong deck and kind of has the aggressive approach that the phoenix deck maybe doesn't but not sure if it's better than phoenix or not because phoenix is a great deck too phoenix does play lots of cards that are just very expensive and just country ping so it's kind of nice to be able to do something besides... I forgot to play my Mem Knight. Whoops. So my point was tanking for so long. You have 7 minutes. And I forgot to play my Mem Knight. The best deck in my opinion? Well, probably blue-red decks are just the best in general. Like in every format. After 5 out, you just know the deck is powerful. You do, yeah. Yeah, blue is the new blue green, except that blue green was never a good color combination by itself. It was always blue green. 
I mean, I guess with Uro it was blue green, but it also was third and typically four of color too. To know the best deck, see what I'm playing. Yeah. What about playing a 44% win rate Phoenix deck in historic? Oko question mark, what are you asking? Yeah, Uro was for longer than Oko, so I kinda left more of a footprint. Oko was fairly brief. Keenan. <laughs> Remember Keenan? I thought I don't remember Keenan. Recently I was sorting my cards and I have found uh, Keenan and Song of Creation in the playable binder and I moved them to the not so playable box. Yes, I thought it was time. <laughs> So yeah, that is kind of kind of a sign that the future might be not so bright for Kinan. I had five three with Phoenix. Yeah, I went six two with Phoenix. I think my list was pretty good too, and I was not super unhappy to play with it. Just dodge bad matchups, TBH. But. I don't know, I play against Enchantress, Auras twice, three mirrors, control, and someone play something else, I don't remember even. <laughs> what did win and what decks? Gian Morkitz Mor what's his name? Moritz Morkitz Moritz Merkel. JMM won the tournament. He played Dreskai, Hinata, and Standard, and I don't know his historic deck. I think he played Arcanis with four horses. Don't time me, time me out. Times was the best deck to choose. I'm not sure if this was actually true. But it was probably not terrible. We have Shattering Spree, Shattering something. So by multi-queuing, I don't know, my point is fairly slow, that's all I know. Sure. 
opinion on Lotus Combo. I think that deck is weak. I did lose versus the green white human stack, but I won an easy game one and I. Move to five, lost on the draw in kind of a lame way. Why not leave the blue mana? Because I had to play the white card to kill the goblin. I guess I drew the flaster, so I should have played the Urzaya. It's not true. Thank you for the, for the sub. Yeah, I definitely should have played Urza Flaster, that's true. I can die. Every time I'll be plastered something, that's my hope, yeah. Misper Chunster. <laughs> what did he say? What does the Elspeth say? Five life, fire. Why are the burn players like this? <laughs> we won the match. 2 0. I think my opponent had a very slow connection or something. They like very lots lots of lots of ping and they just only got only could do anything five every five fifteen seconds. Just kinda slow. My only guess.
Same thing happened to me once where you're the Baron player timing out. I was fine what model was. Yeah, I mean, I had that happen to me too, I guess, where it just model became very slow, specifically. Don't clear Adam. Nice name. Real pro players, he started their life and chose a different career. Damn. I think you should have played Sentinel. It's possible. But I wasn't sure, and I was like, yeah, they had Ragavan, they would have played Ragavan first, but then they turned out to be a different deck. What's your career besides Rivals League, John, Porn, them? Dome, switch, ch, six times three plus two. Oh, wow, mutagenic. I might need to jump, then I want to jump with the smith. Can't play the lava dart. Two card types, base prowess deck. Upkeep consider based. Zico, 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 Zico. 
Yeah, so you don't have mountains. But they might have a bolt and I'm going to die. Ooh, not dead. Uh, uh, sketch Shadow Spear. Can I say we'll go after this league? Yeah. Tachyon. Tachyon. I don't know if Rage is great against them. Seems okay. Be all kind of clunky. Oh, yeah, the nettle says for stars. Or a counter spell, cheap one. Oh, flashes doesn't seem great though, but. Zico, 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 Zico. Turn one saga. Dram, turn two mem knight, make construct. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Hmm, they could lightning bolt my construct token, which would probably cause death. That's so nice for me. And I hope they don't attack either, and that's so good for me then. Tachyon. Irritation. Well, we can't fluster. Put dart into the grave with surveil. Insane. Almost as good as putting Arclay's Phoenix in there. 
Love that it entered the exile zone, okay. Do you have Montagna? So nice. Alright, it got four entirely for that. Do I have a preferred player list at the moment? I'll play three shredders, three more tight regions. And I'll play two spell peers to work my charm. I think that fits with everything that's traditional. Then you play some sideboards. I don't know what exactly. Put a card on top. It's not nice. What? Wait, what? They put a soul scar on top? It would give them delirium. What? I mean, I think spell pierce is great, just great to have in the deck because it makes you beat the things that are problematic. Ren, Cascades, <laughs> okay. Blue Red, Prowess, and Modern Defeated. Oh, well, the spell pieces, I think you. Don't have a great deck against. Cascades. Which Adam is your favorite? Good question. Let's find the first is a temp is it Murtai Regent list posted. The first ever Murtai Regent deck list posted. Is it Delver by Underwater Bimbo? Morktide Tide Region, 2 Subtlety, 4 Dragon Rages Channeler, where Ragavan? Four Fault Scour, four Asinomers, four Lightning Bolt. Four Soul Guide Lantern. Sixteen lands. Yes, Mia. Four Sprite Dragon, three Gold Shatter, four Mark Tide Reach, Bold Opt, William Grascorn, four Counterspell, five Counterspell in a deck. 
Nice. Thing in the eyes, Arclight Things, Mortide Regent. Using Faithless Salvaging. Well, it's for like my destruction, but it's in the control deck. Although this is a Sprite Dragon control deck. See, Dragon Tribal too. They could play Cavern. Four stabs with Thing in the Eyes. Area of Flame. Damn, is Area of Flame base? Probably not. I don't know, Vincent Sorceries. It's like only, yeah, it needs to be an Arclight Phoenix deck to use Aria. Modern Challenge Delver, this is the same list. We've seen already before. For crashing trick. Nice sideboard. Wasn't good, it was just the best path card. Chad, Serum Virus is literally preordained, it's a powerful card. Seventeen lands tuned up. Are they land? Yeah, nice. KD4, so are they land? DRC, Phoenix, Murtide Regions, Pyromonster Ascension. Was it just that Dragavan was expensive? People didn't want to buy it. First result of Ragavan was in Gruul midrange six days before that. One Ragavan. Just got one Ragavan in the chest, seems like. Hell's Kitchen, five days later. Yeah, that's probably was a Ragavan from the chest. Two Ragavan. Wait, that's my deck. What the hell? <laughs> Four color and family are two Ragavan. <laughs> yeah. What's the what's the result? Three one the prelim. What is a saga? Nice deck. To feed the swarm against opposing sagas. So be be but besides the gruel midrange that was five days before everyone else, probably because they got it from the I don't know I don't know how they got the Ragavan. We have the earliest posted result with Ragavan. Damn. Although in a surprising deck. For Ragavan. Knights of the Red Quarry, Shaun of Draco. Hell's Kitchen by Doom Switch. Added a fair Dragavan for the for the fourth Cauldron Family are based. Deck tuning. Happening here too. Bob the dog on Jeskai Stone Blade. Yeah, I remember that Jeskai Stone Blade was the thing at first with Ragavan. Uh, 
and red black spiked was quick to come to First round deck was blue at Svealun. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, this is almost it, but Scorch the Skyclaves. With Blue Rus. Grixis Death Shadow. Let's see how close it was. Four Death Shadow, three Ragavan, two Croxa, four Sprite Dragon. Somewhat close. What scour? 22 lands. What? This deck was like 19 lands deck, right? No iteration either. Yeah, no DRC, but no iteration. Zero heat. Alright, well, it's kind of far away. Took a while for cleansing wildfire for the Tron gamers. Free soul guys to extractions. Has to be admitted, sometimes the spike innovations are actually legendarily good. Alright, this person had like almost everything, right? From the start. The two the Turak even. He splashed white for the ending, excusable, but then they have four vindicate. <laughs> the deck. Interesting. Damn. Cares totem, damn. 21 lands, kinda, isn't that kinda low? They have like 4 free drops. Yeah, it's fine. Break the ice for the Tron Gamer. Vindicate because modern is a Ponza format canister, yeah. Vurg, probably some kind of a Scion of Draco. Uh -huh. Mantis Rider. Spying Spike Blue Red in Modern Challenge 612. Oh yeah, Spike was playing Blue Red with No with Lurus to non Murtai to play Lurus. Free force of negation, but besides that, pretty great deck. Besides a weird amount of force of negation. By today's standards. But it's like all the correct cards, all the great cards. Wait, what? I guess you can splash for black anyways, for Luru it's not white. This is MH2 releases and retrospective review, yeah. We're looking at the first Ragavan decks posted. And some of them are eerily similar to the ones we play nowadays. I remember this deck, Ponzini. Canister, why isn't Shredder played in standard? Because it's hard to double spell consistently, I think. When did Companion get nerfed? Way before this. Like a year ago, before MH2. Living End from June 8th, 2021. Three Borrowers, two Grief, one Subtlety. 
just dipping their toes into that free fury in the sideboard. Monster Scarabit for the pitching. No, you're not gonna watch my video because I don't like doing that. I will give you back the points. Mono down right now. No, just looking at Deckless, I just kind of got caught into this. Or I know. BRG. Living end with four grief. Your points, you got your points back. Baleful mastery in the sideboard four times, nice. Four grief, four horror of the broken lands, violent outburst, starless agents. So it was just four color with black mana for black cyclers because we didn't know that we could just have enough black cards anyways. Bob the dog and the modern challenge. For grief to subtlety. Yeah. Right, this is almost like what we play now. Bob the dog, June 12th. Free living and though, kinda cringe. No vigor. Yes, Bob the Dog is yellow hat. Six one ninth place. Goldfish always cuts off the last round. It's a bit weird. Horror of the Broken Lands. Took a while that. I guess that was played at first, but it was not needed to be played. But it was kind of solved quickly. Interesting. Let's finish the league because... Mm, shit, it's already five. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the league. Let's see, maybe we're gonna get through those pretty quickly. Yeah, already had sunken ruins. It's interesting to look at the decks from the past and then think about it and say, damn. That was pretty funny that we did think weirdly. Why did Psychonaut request PS best pet Fajolice? That's kinda weird. Shafron Live Player League with 2015 apps and it was good content. Did have Siege Rhinos. If I had a time machine, I would use it to break past format to the power of hindsight. Yeah, it sounds like a pretty good so use. I mean, that could be a bad matchup for my deck, actually. Probably is. Is there a new response or the same that you typed the last time? Sad. Looking at cards, press OK to continue. Yeah, I continue. Well, I think it does get worse in free color. 
I mean, that's pretty undeniable. You don't even play Titan next to Adam. You don't have an amulet, so I guess I prefer to just portable hole now to make my cards cost less. Uh, I shouldn't have played the Mem Knight because it doesn't grow my smith and it could grow my smith while I can also keep out the water next turn. Smith, look at the top four cards via deck, put one of them, put them on the bottom of the library in a random order, yeah. I like the 1-3 Ogre of Bolas. Same card. Transmutation of the T-West. For Summer's Pact, fair. You know, Tawara the Titan, we're not dead. We're going to draw two with the Pacts. They play Titan. Or they'll take a Dryad and then... Bounce the Dryad. Damn, they're paying. Well, they don't have other green swords, but they do, so it's a bit tough. Can bounce my monitor, that's kind of bad. Because next time they play Triad and they do stuff in again. Well, it's really bad if I bounce the Dryad too. I think we are on a no outer. Because I don't have removal that kills the Dryad. Unless we draw, we need an Ursa and do some movements. Probably better to bounce this. Put monitor in this card then. I 
Very nice song. I like Vol a lot. Acid Divination Man. Mm. No, I'm just dying to the Dryad. Smelling Nage, naming Valakut. GS Smith is feels really bad in matchups like this. Can quite bot it out. Probably gonna keep amulets for kind of be portables for amulets. Like Smith is a clock sort of. Spare Sentinel is pretty, uh, pretty poor too. Pierce against Titan, you have so many creature cards. There's a few things that it does counter. I don't know, options better than Dampening Sphere. It's big mana, it's pretty rough in blue white. Well, we could bounce Titan, but my opponent went smart and just had two Valakuts in play and the Dryad. A single Valakut would also be good enough, probably so. It's got a portable hole. The reasons to keep Mem Knight would be to trigger my Smith on turn two, but I don't have the Smith, so I think dealing one damage is better. Or dealing no damage ever this game because Arboreal Grazer is unfair and it blocks anything and everything that I could ever wish to inflict upon my opponent. I'll awkwardly play my Dumping Sphere and I'm going to be housed by it but more so than my opponent will. Nice land. Damn, nice draw.
Yes, I did throw you with Floralis. Too little, too late. The machine is in motion. Very true. Map. Play Bosejo. Do we have a sorcery speed map cracker? Does it make a difference to bouncy construct? It's actually might. And I don't think I need my thing for anything else. Quite a lot of artifacts canister if you need that many, yeah. Why did they play Wasage and not channel it? Because they probably need the It's actually this with affinity of dumping here pretty funny. That's probably because they need the mana. Should I have played this first and then I would have been actually able to kill this Terran or and then maybe they have another Bosaju to channel actually. No.
I found Castle Garenbrig very not that effective against Stamping Sphere. They're about to make one colorless mana chat. Okay, they will not even make the one colorless mana. They realized. I really would like to have a turn one play. On the draw, Portable Hall is better. Sentinel Wars. Sorry, Smith. I don't know, fine dumping sphere. It's not even do that, doesn't even do that much, but. It seems like a keepable hand. I guess. Pretty fast. Beast. Yes. Vala cute. Oh, meddling mage is interesting. So I'll be playing the meddling mage and then to. I guess so. Don't want to play out the saga to make constructs. You have the spatch to remove dryad, so. You can just meddling mage prime while titan. Yes, Vala cute, ay ay ay. Second dispatch, pretty based. This direction splash like one to solve the one drop issue. Well, we have one drops, just that Sentinel is not good in the matchup and Portable Hall is questionable, so that means that they have few one drops. In general, against most decks, you do have one drops. I think. And also, Razor Tight Bridge is your one drop. Chad, am I the only one having issues with chatting? What kind of issues do you have? Somebody be not okay to you? Unkind? Rude? Tell us. Smart, probably, yeah. Just like my headphones are getting quite hot. Which then would explain why my hair is getting quite hot. Interesting.
or tap your dryad. After which I will exile it. Tough. I mean, we get an artifact, so it's not that stuff. So I should have floated. Whoops. Wait, what? Could you imagine how funny it would have been if the next turn opponent would have attacked with Dryad into an Urza Saga token? Well, there is no Dryad, but yeah, it would be pretty funny if that was the case. I have not played with Urza Saga. Is there any way to double dip on the construction creation phase 2? Well, you can make two constructs, yeah. Why playing the wrong version of Meddling Mage? It's my favorite version. The less uh, crispy cool on the artwork, the better. That's pretty rough because we don't have dispatched mana now. Upkeep before it sacrifices. Well, you can main phase before it sacrifices. It main phase triggers. Oh, shit. It's fine. I guess I can cast a Titan. Typical Urza flip land. But they will have trouble triggering Dryad for now. And they didn't make a second concert, which is kind of puzzling. Maybe they have Cultivator Colossus, that'll be bad. And that would make sense. Yeah, they probably do. Hmm. Or Pact for Colossus, I guess. That also works. Yeah, Beast, Creature, Spells, them. Hmm. 
not nice. Got kind of dismantled here by the explosives and Vigor. That's the only card they have, so it's not that bad. It's not that bad. So they only drew one card, non-land. Actually, it's a 2-2. Two -two. So they have a, a gruel land. We just need to hit something with Urza and a few spins. And can actually win. I'm gonna be able to dispatch the construct token if needed. Let's say spell. Let's take the bridge. Grow it. And a triad is not even scary because they don't have six lands for Valaku to trigger and well then we have to dispatch. The smith can contain the construct token, it's all great. And we have Metalcraft again, okay. Alien Shivers, na 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 na. Alien Shivers, Alien Shivers, Shivers. Urza Saga makes sense. Free marks, free ledgers, but it seems like a lot of people are looking for ledgers. No, I have not seen any for ledgers lists. Nice. Nice. All I can say is nice. I think, well, what do they play for Shredders and what else? My in instinct would be to play free, free. It's funny how okay, can not attack at all. Order blockers. Yes, you have ordered your creatures to block. Can you go to damage? Good draw. Medium draw.
What a game. No attack. Yeah, I guess I could. So the card seems really good. Well, does it? Not sure. Yes, Just seems like dog actually shit at inside, that's why it stank. I didn't bother to go check. That's a little bit unfortunate. Popular, do you think there will be end ban for Urmurg in Modern? You have crossed the line. Not in the immediate future though. Oh, oh kurva. They have other explosives. Shucks. They have to chum block. And they get to play Titan, probably. No. You don't have it right, Titan? Still. Alright, I have no cards, so I like, never even drew a titan this game, so the bending may shouldn't do anything. I think this deck might want to play four dispatches. I need them to draw Grazer or Dryad. This add the Orion, so we'll do what? Damn. 
It'd be a juicy Yarion. I mean, I would make a construct. Not even be a good Yarion. It's a very weird game. I think this deck should just play for this patch uh, than some of the weird cards I'm playing. I like Portable Holding Dryad there. Well, I would like to do so too if I could, but it's an illegal play. I see the Metallic Rebuke so bad. Kinda hate it. But I think if you play the Artifact Lens, this patch is pretty strong. That's a very weird Titan game. Got me with the Explosives eventually. Alright, I have to go because I have to... We have to take the dog to the vet today for a blood test before he gets his teeth fixed because he has a lot of uh, stone on his teeth. I don't know if that's how you say it in English even, but he has dirty teeth that has to be cleared and this has to be tested for if he can take anesthetics so that the procedure could be performed. I will not be streaming until Friday, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going to Berlin to record a few videos with Card Market, and that means that I will be away until, until Friday. So take care broskies and see you see you towards the end of the week